operating systems initiated. So, what's going on guys? I'm back with another episode today just to show you a handful of small little features that have been added to the game recently. You just witnessed one of them there with the bulkhead door. So, now when you block off a flood, the area, so like this area here, is unaffected by any breaches. So once you shut off the area of the flood, the unaffected area will then begin to drain. So, so they've actually updated that quite well. I like how it blocks off one area of the flood and then it leaves the unaffected area of your base intact. So it's a good way of just like if you haven't got time to repair it or you haven't got a welder or something, then you know that this part of your base is going to be unaffected, leaving you still able to use the fabricator or whatever else you've got going on in here. So um, if I carry on up here now and take you to the bench, if I take a seat now, you can see that you can actually look around while sitting on the bench and you can see the player sat there nicely with his hands resting on the sides. That's pretty cool. Nothing big, but all adds to the overall immersiveness of the game. <laughs> uh, so next, if I take you up here and go to the solar panels here, uh, let me just pull my knife out. Now, I don't know how long this has been uh, in the game for, but if you actually damage any power sources now, you can, well, you can, <laughs> for one, you can destroy them. Um, second, there's the sound effect when you strike them, and also the little electric animation there once you've actually hit them. So that's pretty cool. I can imagine maybe when there's um, enemies and stuff like that will be near your base, maybe in the future they'll attack your base and might target your power sources. Maybe they, you know, they don't like the power sources, so they try and destroy them and you'll get those sort of animations as that happens. So, uh, if I go back into my base here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just, um, so yeah, if I um, go into this room here, let's put my head up. Uh, so usually um, you could drop loot in your base and your cyclops on your life pod, but now when you try and do that you get this message saying can't drop item here, use storage containers instead. So I'm not sure why they've added that, but it's probably because um, like, you know, you could sort of not use storage containers and just like literally leave like a pile of loot on the floor. So maybe it's just to sort of cut out uh, glitches or bugs if the player was to dump like, you know, hundreds of pieces of titanium on the base floor. Well, it's pretty neat, I mean, it's better than seeing <laughs> stuff dumped all over the floor, but I believe when you go outside you can still, you can still actually dump stuff, so if I just try that with, uh, yeah, there you go, so you can outside of your base dump stuff, but just not inside. Next I'll take you to the moon pool, uh, there's a few little things that have been added to this. Um, one now is this blinking light on the top of the aerial here. Not a massive feature, but maybe help you spot your <laughs> kind of, help you spot it from a distance I guess, but there you go. It just like adds to the detail, makes it look more realistic. Coming along nicely, this like little moon pool. <laughs> so if I um, pull my builder out here as well, I'm not sure you could do this originally, but you can now. Add reinforcements to the sides of the moon pool. That's pretty cool. Add seven plus points to your overall base base strength, uh, so it's not a bad, bad amount really. Uh, I'm going to stick a window here though. Awesome. So if I 
come on up into my moon pool here. They have also updated the uh, sound effects and the visuals for when you jump into the water. So yeah, you can kind of see, um, if you remember from last time, the details that you get on the screen, like the water splashes, are slightly different. Nothing too noticeable, but I think they've just perfected that a little bit. Uh, whilst we're in the moon pool, I just want to talk about like the reinforcements and stuff that you're going to be able to add on to your Seamoth at some point. I think they're going to, like there is in the Cyclops, um, could be a little command module where you can add in uh, different upgrades for your Seamoth, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be in here. If you go to the title screen on the main menu of the game and read the little information window there, it does actually mention there being this uh, situated in the moon pool. Uh, so I don't know whether that's still yet to be added or not, because uh, unless I'm being blind, I haven't actually seen anything that looks or resembles anything like a, a module, so still waiting for that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. One thing I wanted to try is, I haven't actually tried it, is if you can build sort of your, yeah, build like fabricators and Pretty sure you'll be able to build blockers as well. So yeah, you could actually have like the majority of your base inside just the moon pool if you wanted to. Maybe like have like a room or something on on one end, but you know, if you if you wanted to go, you know, minimalist on your base, then suppose you could literally just have a moon pool and uh, yeah have a little tiny base inside that okay so I'm just gonna take you over to the Grand Reef real quick because uh, there's a few things that I want to take a look at over there so try and get there without using any sort of guidance which <laughs> which may or may not go in my favor Okay, so I'm just entering the Grand Reef biome now. Um, so there should be in this area now the moon pool blueprints located in this area. So there's the moon pool fragment. Pick it up. So you can see there's a part of the moon pool there. And there should also be the thermal plant blueprint here as well. So I'm going to try and find that because I could actually um, do getting that myself, to be honest. So I'm going to take a look around for that. So like, I have to say this biome is coming along really nice. It's going to be good to see what it's like in its final stages. Because um, I will put my money on the new creatures that are being worked on, such as like the crab squid and the warper. I, I could more than likely guarantee that those creatures are going to be like the main creature in this biome. Because um, it, it would make sense, because there's not really many big creatures in this biome except for like the sort of small fish um, moon pool fragment again but yeah like I was saying like it'd be cool to have like bigger creatures in this biome like once it's finished with all like the new plant life and everything added once that's all done um, like it'd be cool to see bigger creatures as well so I can imagine that's going to come in like one of the next bigger updates is like probably a whole bunch of new creatures and stuff because we still yet to see the cute fish um, implemented properly there's obviously the crab squid the warper and there's also um, is it the, sh the shocker I think it's called the shock fish or something along those lines um, so that'd be cool to see all of those implemented into this biome but we shall see in time Okay, so these are new. 
These look like sort of smokestacks coming out of the ground. Which would make sense because the inactive lava biome is below this biome. But they look pretty cool. I like the animation of those. Smoke towers. <laughs> So I wonder if they'll play a part in um, the thermal plant, maybe? Because I did read somewhere that they were reducing the size of the thermal plant, if any of you remember, like, the sort of, um, like, early models of it. It was quite large, but I heard that they're going to reduce the size of it slightly, so maybe that'll um, have the possibility to be used on these, if not at least on those sort of thermal pockets that are in the more sort of inactive lava biomes. It would make sense because you do find, um, well, <laughs> I haven't found it yet, but apparently there is somewhere this thermal plant blueprint, which for now seems to be escaping me. It does look like there's quite a few of these smokestacks here as well. Ah, have I stumbled across one? It's another moon pool fragment. Is this going to be like the sea moth fragment again, where there's, there's hundreds of sea moth fragments everywhere? <laughs> okay, so this is kind of looking like the outer area of the map here. So, yeah, it is definitely. So I, I can't find this uh, thermal blueprint anywhere. Maybe I'm just not, not looking hard enough. But I'm going to move on. Because um, if I bring up the biome list here, you can see that there is um, the Grand Reef there and the, the Deep Grand biome as well. So I'm just going to go through some of these new list, listed biomes here and see where they sort of spawn me or if they take me to a new undiscovered biome. So go to deep grand. I assume this is going to still be in the the uh, grand reef biome but more likely yes that was correct. Probably in the um, area that leads to the inactive lava biome. Which seems to be covered in aluminium oxide crystals. There it is for fire and heat protection, so I assume that that again is going to be used with the thermal plant um, ingredients. That makes sense. So let's uh, see what's next on the list. So there's um, dunes, which I think. I don't think I've been to that one yet. Um, so remember guys, this is the early access and experimental version of the game, so it's likely that this probably is unfinished. And there's also Reapers. <laughs> so that's not good. So the dunes, it looks like, leave me alone, it looks like work has been done slightly. It's very barren still. It looks like there's sort of the basic terrain. Little bits of uh, sort of plant life here. Bits of grass. We've got the schools of fish and a few creatures by the looks of it. And obviously the, the reaper that's stalking me. What else is over here? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so looks like there's a bit more work than I anticipated but done here, but obviously it's still unfinished. Let's see what's over on this. A little bit here, this is probably going to be the end of the map again. Yeah, it is. So let me just see whereabouts this is on the map. So go right to the surface here, see where the aurora is. Let's sort of work out what direction this biome is going to be.
Okay, so I can't even see the aurora from where I am, so... Working that out, the aurora's definitely... So you got to go southwest for the islands. So I'd say the aurora's situated probably somewhere over there towards that life pod. So it was definitely far, far out this biome. Let me uh, go back under a sec. So we'll see what biome connects to this dunes biome because I've got a feeling it's probably going to be the mushroom forest. Better avoid that reaper. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look where it sort of connects to. And where we can expect to see after. Yeah, so yeah, I was right. It's um, pretty much straight after the mushroom forest biome. Awesome. So let's bring that list up again, see what else we haven't gone to. So, we've done the dunes, there's mountains, which is another new one. Um, obviously most of these are probably going to be unfinished. But we can always take a look. Okay, yeah, so the <laughs> it really does look like a mountain. An underwater one. So it looks like there's um, less work been done here on this one. It looks like the basic shape of the terrain's been played about with, but apart from that, Doesn't look like there's too much been added, so it looks like currently there's just sort of one big mountain, whether they're going to add more to it. So I assume this is probably going to be on the edge of the map. I, I'd suspect that most of these new biomes are obviously being added around the edge of the map, making it wider. So... Okay, so that's like the front of the aurora that I'm looking at there. So like the mushroom forest, sort of behind another part of the mushroom forest then again. So this may even connect up to the dunes biome. Once that's been finished. But again, I'm just going to take a look where this uh, joins up to. Just so I know for future reference where and what directions I need to head in for these new biomes. So, actually thinking about it, the Koosh biome's just after that mushroom forest, so it's either going to be one of the two. The Koosh or the mushroom forest. Place your bets now, people. <laughs> I'm just going to make it day again because it's kind of dark. I might miss something. Shaped terrain there. It's spiky. Okay, yeah, so it was the Koosh biome. Awesome. I haven't actually been to the Koosh biome for quite a while. It's quite a nice biome, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, let's again bring that list up. Uh, you cover mountains, you've got a deep ground, you've got a blood kelp biome. I have seen images of the blood kelp. Kind of look like the um, creep vines. That's slightly different. It's, uh, yeah, I thought that was the one. I've been to this one before. It spawns you underneath the terrain um, for some reason. Obviously that's not been uh, polished yet. And again it looks like the terrain for that biome is pretty much virtually untouched. So this 
looks like it could be joined up with the Grand Reef, maybe? On the edge of that. So if I head towards like the sort of you know central map area. More than likely. So yeah, there's been a little bit of work done here. There's a little bit of loot around. A few creatures here and there. But apart from that, it pretty much looks quite barren. Oh, actually, it uh, joins up with with this biome here. But I think the Grand Reef's only like on the other side of this bit here, so it's all connecting up pretty nicely. Makes me wonder what the edge of the map will be like when the game's finished. Maybe they could mirror certain biomes and you know make them carry on for endless amount of time, but who knows? We'll see. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring that list up again, see if there's any others. So the smokers, which I have a feeling that that is going to be in the Grand Reef. Yeah, so that's that's the biome command to get to them. Uh, smokestacks that we spotted in the Grand Reef, but it doesn't actually spawn you to them. Unless... Maybe? I don't know if them here, these bits sticking out here are going to have that smoke effect as well. Perhaps. Who knows. But there's that one. And was there one more that I haven't gone to yet? What's the tree biome? Is that the giant mushroom tree perhaps? Okay, I got a feeling that this one spawned me under the map again, so... Yeah. There you go. So yeah, that looks like all of the new and upcoming biomes there. So, I'm going to end today's video there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And until next time, take it easy.